Badass TNC truck. Got purple writing on it. See that rain starting to come down. Oh man. Let me tell y'all something, man. Hey, a lot of a lot of truckers be asking me for advice. And I can't I I really can't tell you too much of what to do. But I do know one thing that I that I always keep in mind. Like I was just reading the status on Facebook just now. Let me see if I can pull it back up. Let me see. Let me see. It's in the, it's in the flatbed gang group on Facebook. So you know if you ain't already joined the flatbed gang group, go ahead and check it out. Here it go from my buddy Danny Gray. Gotta love it when your paperwork says deliver at 6 a.m. So you leave the house at 2 a.m. to get down there in time and they don't even open until 8. My dog Danny Gray, Flatbed Gang Group. Hey, that's real talk, man. That's one thing I learned a long time ago. Don't, hey, get there when you get there. Don't never really be in no big ass rush, cause man. Man, you'll go some, you'll get somewhere. Let's say your paperwork say you get there at 7. You'll get there. You won't get unloaded till 9 o'clock. Like right now where I'm at. I left the house yesterday. I stopped at a, at a uh, Sheets. They got a Sheets truck stop right on 95 now. On exit 118, 95 North. They got a Sheets. I stayed there last night. Probably about 30 minutes away from where I'm at now. At CMC in uh, Kings George, Virginia. I've been off duty for 45 minutes. I've been sitting here waiting that long. So yeah, you be in a rush to get to these places, and then you finally get here, and you end up waiting. But it's all good though. Ain't nothing I can do. So my best advice to, to the new truckers, don't break your neck to get somewhere, man. Just get there when you get there. Cause hurry up and wait. It's the name of the game. Hey, in other news, I just got another load. It ain't, it ain't popped up on the Qualcomm yet, so I really can't see all the details, but I got it on my phone. It's a load going to uh, Orlando, Florida. So this is my third time going to Florida in the past three weeks. I've been to Florida three times past three weeks. TLC cranking up. I'm about to put this... About to put this address in and see exactly. Put it in uh on Google Maps, see where it's going. Well, I know where it's going, but I wanna know how, how far away it is. It's a job site delivery. One two six one one. Orlando, Florida. And the main reason I'm putting the address in, I want to see how far it is from the house. 12611 International. Ugh. When he moves, pull a back up in between Bagel's 8 and 9, so it'll be close to where I need to go. Back up over there? Back up and pull up. I don't care, Mom. Alright. Alright. Whew. So I got to back up over there. International, let me put the address in. It's popping up for all these other states but Florida. Orlando, Florida. I'm picking up some structural steel. Looks like a damn apartment complex on Google Maps. Let's see how far it is from uh from for where I stay at. Five hundred seventy miles. Yeah, I could do that in one day. Hey, that's that's closer than damn Tampa. Closer than Tampa. Tampa's like like six hundred. Like 630 miles, I believe. 
Yeah, I could definitely do that. Let's back this thing up real quick. He didn't make him back up. Now I gotta back up. Y'all see I didn't do no pull-ups. <laughs> no pull-ups. No pull-ups, baby. All this space, anybody could do that. Yeah, we ready for you, baby. All them slinkies over there. No pull-ups. There we go. Still ain't popped up on the Qualcomm yet. I need to see the Qualcomm so I can look at the damn... I can see it on my phone, but it ain't... It's not as detailed as looking at it on the Qualcomm. I want to see the directions. Take exit 72, Florida 528 East. Take exit 1, make left on the International Drive. <sighs> Man. Look this place. Looking at it on Google Maps, on Street View, looks like a damn apartment complex. That's exactly what it looks like. Hey, I don't know about y'all, but I hate job sites. I hate them. I'll definitely be calling this guy, or whoever it is, and figuring out exactly what to do. All right, gang. We'll check back in in a minute. Let me get, get some stuff situated. Central workers back on the road. Y'all see it. My friend Suffolk, Virginia. I think that's how you say it, Suffolk. Something like that. Man, it's a big wreck up there. All these cars trying to merge in front of me. Y'all gotta slow it down, man. Look like, look like about a one, two. Look like about a three, four car pile up. Oh, man. I ended up dropping my trailer in Emporia and Bob tell me to pick this next trailer up and I'm, that's going to Orlando. I would have been at the place by now. I'm only 10 miles away. But I got stuck up in this right here. I'm glad I don't have my trailer. <laughs> I would have been a big mess up in here with all these cars. I could have I could have did it now. But it would have been a big, big cluster, cluster, F-U-C-K. Because I had to come across, when I get off the exit, I had to come to a green light and merge across two lanes to get back on this lane I'm in now. So I would have had to wait for a big gap to be able to pull across without my trailer uh, blocking that uh, that road off. Oh, they're, they're detouring up here. They're detouring. Good thing I don't got my trailer. Cause I don't know. 
this road up here. I don't know what. Oh, I look like they're driving around the gas station. Go ahead, Mr. Mercedes. ML350. Go ahead. Mr. Mercedes. Yeah, that's a big one. Look like. I'm about to tell that officer I can't go to that now gas station parking lot. See if he'll let me go around. Yeah, he gonna let me through. Yeah, yeah, I already knew that. Yeah, I can't fit through there. Thank you. Man. Yeah, he already knew I couldn't fit through that gas station. Uh, Sunoco. <laughs> Hey, thank you, Mr. Police Officer, for letting your boy through. Ha ha! <laughs> you know, I couldn't fit through there. I thought they were going on the street behind it. They were cutting through the parking lot. Mr. Mr. Five Up. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Woo! I gotta come back the same way. Don't look like that right side is, uh, look like that right side, well, Southbound side, it's still open. We're gonna get on down here. Get this preload. Take the 10 hour break at the house. That's how we do. Up and down 95. Who was that that said something to me last week about PNS keeping me on 95? Hey, you, sir, were correct. I stay on 95. Up, up and down. I do venture off sometimes. I might hop on 20. Sometimes I might end up on 85. Sometimes I might end up on 81. But I always somehow magically work my way back 95. All the time. You know what they say. Nothing's finer than being in Carolina. closed at 12. <laughs> they close at 12 o'clock. It's 3.02. So they supposed to have put my trailer outside the gate. So we gotta find the damn trailer. Look like it right there. Please don't let it be this middle trailer. Man, it is. Fuck. Whew. Ain't this about a bitch. So I gotta pull that. I gotta pull that first trailer up out the way. It's another P and S truck. That must be his trailer. Yes, I got lucky. <laughs> the other P and S trailer pulled up right behind me. He was at the terminal uh, just a few minutes ago too. 
Yes, save me some hassle. Yes, save me some hassle. I was about to say, I gotta pull that damn trailer up to get the mine. Yes. Thank you, PNS. Thank you, my flat bear brother. Pulling up on time. Thank you, my flat bear brother. Get the hell out of the way now so I can get mine. Get the hell out of the way. Yes, my flat bear brother. My flat bed brother pulled up on time. Thank you, my flatbed brother. Yeah, that guy right there, he was at the terminal when I was just there. Yeah, all right, buddy.
gotta put some edge protectors up there. Throw one more strap. Edge protectors and one more strap. Look at that right there. That should have catch off come up in that tire. We're gonna have to move that. So long, buddy. We already finished. Let's see how much more time I got. Six minutes. I gotta take a 30 minute break. So they got two hours on my clock. Hey, that's all you gonna get today, man. That's all you gonna get today. I'm already finished. They already pretty much had it secured. I only threw that one strap. And I put the edge protectors up there. Move my dunnage back down here. So only thing we waiting on now is these six minutes. I can take this down 30 minute break. Flatbed guy, we out.